Hi, today I've decided to do a setup video on the Campark T45. Let's familiarize ourselves with a few buttons. The menu button, the left and right, the up and down, and the OK button. The first thing we want to do is install the batteries. As we see here, it's not very hard. We take the cover off, put the batteries in. Underneath is the micro SD card. Right there we snap it and you can see it. The first thing we want to do is move our, our switch, as we can see, over to setup. It's right there. Make sure it's in line with setup. Next thing we want to do is we want to press menu. Okay, menu comes up. The first choice we have is mode. Now we have three modes. When we see the word mode, it'll come up. We press OK. First thing that comes up is photo, video, and video and photo. Sorry about that. I gotta get out of the light. Uh, video and photo. So what I always choose, and not always, but in this particular case, I'm gonna choose photo. So I press OK. Photos locked in. The next thing we want to do is photo resolution. We go down. Okay. We press OK. Always toggle down to the thing. We have five choices. 14 megapixel down to 1 megapixel. Remember, the higher the megapixel, the clearer the picture. The difference is, though, if it's on 1 megapixel, you're going to have a lot of pictures to go on that SD card. When you press 14 megapixel, there's going to be less. But you have to find that happy medium. I like 8. 14 is great, but I, I pick 8. If I'm not going to be to that camera very often, I'm probably going to pick 8 or 5, just so that the SD card gets has plenty of room on it to take pictures. Okay, I'm going to press OK. Okay, now we're going to take Photo Series. And we'll toggle down to Photo Series. I say toggle down, but we hit the down button, and it goes there. We press OK. And we've got to press OK. We have choices. One photo, two photos in series, three photos in series. Okay, remember the more photos we take, the more time it takes up. If we're on a salt block or corn, it depends where you live, if you can use bait. Um, you put in on three photos every 30 seconds, you're going to have thousands of pictures of probably the same animals over and over again. So if you're on a trail, three pictures, great. That works fantastic, 30 second intervals. It depends on the amount of activity you think you're going to have at the place. I put three because I put it on trails and I leave it there. I can move up and down. I can put it on two but I'm going to put it on three and I press OK. Okay. Um, visual, video resolution. If you're using video, I'm not going to pass this up. You're using video. I'm not using video, but I'll show you what. You have choices of 320, 240, 640, 480, 720, 480, 1280, 720 P, which is has to do with clarity of the picture or the video. Um, in this particular case, 1280, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, is considered HD. This is one step further, 1920, okay? That just makes it really super clear. So we press, I, I could go up there, I could pick that one, but I feel this is clear enough for what I want to use it for. If I was using it for a surveillance or on a cabin or something like that, I might want to put 920 just because it's much clearer. So I just press OK, all right? So then video length, how long do we want that video to be? Okay, now we press OK. Do we want it 10 minutes? Do we want it 10 seconds? I, I, I just programmed this one and I got 10 minutes by mistake. You got to be very careful with that because you don't want to do a 10 minute video. Whatever's in there will be gone. Okay, now we're at seconds. Probably 10 seconds. Just make sure you double check because 10 minute videos you get a few of them and your batteries might be dead and you will get only a couple videos or a few. I think it would get a few, it just that wouldn't be as much as you expect. So we're at 10 seconds, so I'm okay with that. I'm glad I rechecked that. Audio recording, fantastic audio recording. Um, it's great on a video to have audio. If you were to have it in your cabin inside, 
if people were talking, you could actually understand what they were saying. If they said anything like names or anything, it would be fantastic. It's really kind of cool, though, to hear deer walking in the woods. You know how we enjoy that if you're a deer hunter. So we press OK. Video link, we've got that, so we're out of there. Let's do audio recording. Okay, if you're recording with a video, you might as well do audio. I got that on, so I could go to off, and that's fine. But I've listened to it, and I think it sounds nice, so I'm going to turn it on. It kind of adds to the video. Um, where are we at now? We're at shot leg, which means that how much time between each shot are we going to have between each video, each set of pictures, okay? Um, if we go to a, mi a second, it's almost like you might as well have it on picture mode. Um, but it, if it was a video, it would be like a, the time leg, and I'm wrong, I said that wrong. The time leg is between videos, like if you want a 30-second stopping point. I guess it depends on your usage. If I was on a bait pile or a salt block or something that was you could use in your county, I probably wouldn't put it on a 30-second, 10-second video. It would be constantly taking videos. You know how deer don't move for a while. So to me, I would say it depends on your usage. In my usage, I'm on a, on a, I'm on a trail. If I have it on video, I'm going to put it on every 30 seconds because deer aren't going to cross there constantly and that deer's coming through and he's going to leave. So I'm going to leave it on 30, but you can move it to whatever you want. You, I think it goes up to one minute. And let's see, it might even go further. I'm going to roll it backwards and see if it goes over a minute, but I don't think so. If I go backwards, I go past this and... Oh, it actually goes up to minutes here. So we're talking, you could run, there could be an hour in between each video, which would be quite a long time. So I personally, I stay in the seconds category. I mean, you can do what you want. I'm going to say between each one, probably 30 seconds. Okay, and that sets both pictures and videos. So this is all preset. It just depends what you pick. I'm going to go 30 seconds. And yes, that noise can be annoying, and I'll show you something. Okay, there we go, 30 seconds. All right, so between each video and each set of camera pictures, you got 30 seconds, which is kind of nice. Side motion sensors. This one happens to have three sensors. So I would see no reason to turn off your side sensors unless maybe you were pointed at a bait pile and you wanted to get the can the deer that were right in the bait pile. You didn't care what was going on on either side of you, but most as hunters, we want to know where they're coming from or what direction they came from. Or if you feel your the deer are being slower and they're tentative and you're not get you're getting pictures without... You're getting pictures without deer in them, and you think you should be. Maybe setting off your taking off your side sensors would be okay. I haven't had that to be a problem, but it's just an idea. I left mine on. I would press OK to get there, on or off. I'm leaving mine on, um, and you can leave yours on too. You can mess with it. Sensitivity motion sensors, okay? So what they're going to give us is high, low, and medium. Um, for different reasons, if you had it on high, it catches a lot of small things. Um, with medium and low, you might be able to eliminate maybe some brush that might be moving and you do have to clear out and for the brush or maybe like small animals like rabbits and, and squirrels. But I'm going to keep it on medium for now and I'm going to go to OK and then I'm going to come down to the next thing. Um, target record timing. Um, not exactly sure what that is. I want to be honest with you. I'm going to keep it off. I don't I don't ever have never used it. Time lapse I've never used, which means it kind of turns on randomly at different times to catch things when there's really no activity. It just turns on and takes pictures. Some people use that, some people don't. Um, I never have. Language, mine is English, as you can tell, so I'll keep mine in English. Um, date and time. Now, that is really simple. Set your date and time. I'm going to say OK. It shows 4-4 of 220 and 2212. It shows military time on the screen, but if I'm not mistaken on the pictures, it'll show me regular time, like 2212 would be 1012. Um, in military time, if I got that right, um, 12 o'clock is 2400, um, 1 o'clock, 1 p.m. is, is 1300 hours. Um, so it's just a matter if you just got to learn how to read that just a little bit. Um, it'll ask you the format, which that's when it tells you what to format at 12 hour or 24 hours. So you have a.m. or p.m. That'll show up on your pictures, I think I've seen, but not here. So we want to go back to menu and pressing the menu button. Um, and in that case, I went in a little bit deeper than one be one click so i had to get out of it by hitting menu so don't get it's okay if you get stuck in there photo stamp that means does it have what does it have on it it's going to give us a choice date and time i just leave it on there i'm okay with that uh, password protection i don't have any you can do it yourself so nobody will be able to get into your camera without giving you a password 
and that doesn't mean you're going to get your camera back they're just not going to be able to use it so the beep sound that can be annoying so what i'm going to do is if i say okay that gives me and if i'm hunting i'll turn it off and i'll say okay after i do that i won't hear beeps anymore a format memory card okay this is a big one every time you put a new sd card in format your sd card because if you don't sometimes they don't work if you take them from one camera to another sometimes they don't work so if you're using this camera if you have an sd card take it so i do this and i say yes just wait a couple seconds please wait it's pretty instructive it's done so now we go down and let's see what else we got left okay serial number i don't do a serial number. reset settings that's if you want to reset everything version i don't know that i am i this is done so now we're done so we press ok we get out of here we press menu we're completely clear now all we have to do is turn the machine off that's what i do all right, here I am reviewing the Cam Park um, trail cam here. Uh, a few things to note about this trail cam. Um, it does come with a pretty good amount of accessories. You do have your uh, strap to go around, you know, probably even up to a, a two foot, uh, foot and a half diameter tree. Um, you do have <clears throat> a mount as well if you wanted to mount this on a building or if you did have a tree that you wanted to um, use this on for a long period of time or a side of a barn. Uh, you could also mount it as well with this plate and uh, directional clamp here that clamps to the plate in the bottom of the um, camera. So you can really get a, a large uh, large option for how you mount and direct the camera. Um, come with some other things as well, um, like a USB, micro USB cord, uh, if you wanted to just plug in the camera directly to get photos off of it. Um, and let me go through a couple things with this camera. First off, uh, you do have kind of the standard... Uh, infrared um, light bank there at the cover you have your lens and then you actually have three different directional sensors that are going to sense the surroundings you open it on up uh, and uh, you do have your eight batteries eight double A's you also have your selection screen here for a couple different things um, you got micro SD uh, if you wanted to plug in your USB as well um, also if you wanted to plug in uh, an actual powered cord that might stay powered through um, to <clears throat> your unit instead of using batteries. And so you can turn this on from off to setup or on, which is what you use. But in the setup mode, you can actually hop in here, go to your menu. You have lots of different options to use here for setup. You have uh, mode, photo resolution, um, how many photos you take at a time, video resolution and length. Uh, if you want to record audio, how long between photos, which is shot lag, uh, how sensitive the sensors are. <clears throat> Um, how long you want to record for, if there's a time of day you only want to record. Let's say you don't want to record uh, during afternoons or in the middle of the night, you just want to know morning and evening. Uh, you can do a time lapse, set languages, time and date, uh, which this is set for kind of an international time and date. So if you do want that month, day, year that we use here in the United States, you can change that. And um, you can set your stamp, you can even pass or protect if you're using this on public land. Um, and you have lots of different things you can still uh, set up here. So. Uh, lots of different options. Um, <clears throat> haven't yet gotten it outside. I've messed around with it inside yet. Uh, photos seem to look great. 14 megapixel. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for a new trail cam, this might be uh, a great option.